Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Again, it is the 20th of April 2021. If I can make the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that would be marvellous and appreciated. Righty ho, today then we're going to look at a band called Blind Gollum. Yes, I know it's a silly name, and their debut album, A Dream of Fantasy. Now, Blind Gollum is a silly name, right? I think I think we can agree on that. Or is it Uriah Heep playing a bit of a prank on us all? Because you can see there it says featuring Ken Hensley, ex-Uriah Heep. So is it Heep playing a bit of a prank? Well, the answer to the first question is yes. It, Blind Gollum is a bit of a silly name, isn't it? And the answer to the second, is it Uriah Heep? Well, no, it isn't. But the style is very much... Uriah Heep of the, 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 the classic period in, in the 1970s and the, the late great Ken Hensley does appear on one track and that could I suspect um, well, well be his final appearance on record before he sadly passed towards the back end of last year. Anyway Bl Blind Gollum is, is an amalgamation of two Italian bands one called Bullfrog and one called Forever Heep. Uh, and Forever Heap is, like the name suggests, a bit of a, a Uri Heap tribute act. And they had a, a bit of a relationship with uh, Ken Hensley, appearing on stage with him a few times. And the songs that, that were put together for A Dream of Fantasy were, were indeed sent to Ken, who uh, must have liked them because he agreed to guest on one. And hey presto, now we have Blind Gollum's debut album. And whilst it is very much in the style of 1970s classic Heap, and in my opinion, that's a good thing because so am I. I mean, I've, I've been with Heap since since all the way back then as well. There's plenty of other classic rock, rock influences going on here as well. You know, you can hear bits of Deep Purple, bits of Rainbow and, and similar. And it, it's so well done. It, it's, it's a really enjoyable album. And, and indeed, it, it would have fitted in nicely had Heap released it around about 1974, you know. All the required elements are here. That that big swirling organ interplaying with the crisp driving chords and solos, which, which are very much Mick Box style, including much use of that wah-wah pedal, just like Mick does so well. Thumping, throbbing, intricate bass lines, pounding drums. Again, it's just like Uri Heap from, from the mid-70s. We've got 14 songs here, around 70 minutes of pounding classic rock, and one or two of those slower, um, haunting songs like Heap used to do back in the day, like, like Rain, for example, or perhaps Dream On from, um, excuse me, Sea of Light, a bit more recent. Uh, the organ swirls and the washers start straight away with the intro to the opening song, Devil in a Dream. Big pulsing rocker, very much like Uriah Heap. Next up is Sunbreaker, which is another monstrous rocker, huge riff, bounces along again, just like Uriah Heap used to do. And on and on it goes over the rest of the album in a, in a similar style. All, all, all in that 1970s classic sound and, and the haunting ether, all slower stuff, like again, just like Heap used to do, fitting in as well. For example, one of those is like The, the Day Is Gone, which, which is the one that Ken Hensley guests on. One of those most soulful, soulful efforts which might have come straight off Wonderland. And then the, the closing song, uh, a spell and a charm is is uh, re really wonderfully done, more more acoustically driven, and and again not not unlike Rain, for example. And yes, Blind, Blind Gollum have put an album here which screams 1970s Uriah Heep. The, the, they've done it so well, and they've done it on their own terms and with their own style to it as well, and and it, it really really does work. And of course, I, I bought it, being a big fan of Uriah Heep since the 1970s. And I'm, I'm really pleased to say that it, it's an instantly enjoyable listen and it's, there's much more going on here than an homage to the good old days of, of uh, you know, when the heap were in the pomp. And it, there's much more to it than that. It stands on its own and it's an excellent listen indeed. And to add to the authenticity, as if any, any more was needed, that fantastic artwork that we can see there on the cover is of course by none other than the marvellous Rodney Matthews and you, you can't go wrong there can you so whether you are a, an old heap fan like myself or somebody who just enjoys proper classic rock 
this album, Blind, Go Blind Gollum, A Dream of, Dream of Fantasy, is for you. It's available in all the usual formats. I got a CD, of course, because I'm stuck in the past. But if whatever format you want, it's there pretty much. I've put a link in the description underneath to the album on Amazon in all its various formats. There's also a link back to the post on the website if you'd like to read that. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and take care.